بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ثم الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh All honor is mine to be amongst you discussing the holy verses of Quran and the commentaries of the holy Quran and the teachings of Ahl al-Bayt alayhim as and inshallah taking action plans and to be as practical inshallah as much as possible in bringing the verses of Quran into our lives. For just a quick reminder that uh, the action plans that we have given before, if you remember, we discussed about uh, reading of Quran on a daily basis. That was one of our action plans within our previous episode. Reading at least 50 verses of the Holy Quran and then reading the translation and then taking one of those verses and then thinking and pondering about those verse, one that, that verse. And then next to it, we will have, inshallah, the book uh, that we have introduced uh, uh, of narrations of Ahl al-Bayt, alayhum uh, salam Inshallah, we will keep it uh, next to us. Inshallah, we can request it. And we will uh, email it to you, inshallah, through our uh, email list of the narrations of Ahl al-Bayt, alayhum salam We get, inshallah, to Surah Al-Hamd. We discuss about Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, which our action plan was that, inshallah, everything we do, we start with Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim and we believe in it. Then we get to Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. All praise belong to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, Lord of all the worlds. Start with Alhamdulillah. All praise belongs to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. We see it is very, very important for us to keep reminding ourselves. It's all about reminder, reminder, reminder. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Surah uh, reading the Quran. It's all about reminding us. Why? Because shaitan keeps trying his best to deviate us to forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To not remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh, I remember also to mention the book between parentheses, the book Tuhaful Uqul. It's the, the ahadith of Ahl al-Bayt compiled in one book, inshallah. You'll email us and then we will send you. So going back, it's all about reminder. Reading Quran, reading narrations. Keep saying Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim before every task. Right now, inshallah, our action plan today will be keep saying Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen every minute of our life, saying Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Why? To remind us of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to be connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to be always thinking and remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because this remembrance has a lot of benefits, a lot of benefits, endless benefit. If we keep remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will see how much our life will be revolutionized. Where Imam says, عن أبي عبد الله عليه السلام This is in the book Kafi ما أنعم الله على عبد بنعمة صغرت أو كبرت فقال الحمد لله إلا أدى شكرها ما أنعم any نعمة and benefit and blessings that we have received from Allah سبحانه وتعالى be it small or big if we say الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين الشكر لله الحمد لله we have fulfilled the right of us thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's remembering, alhamd, all praise, remembering it. It is very important for us to keep remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being thankful for what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. We, we forget, we completely forget how much blessing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon us. The person once, well, it was a story that one person uh, was complaining that uh, I don't have good shoes and he was about to go somewhere and he came to the elevator he saw a person next to him who doesn't have his legs because of sickness or something he didn't have his legs he was sitting on a wheelchair he started appreciating his legs that he has at least forget about shoes let the shoes be uh, not good condition at least I have my legs it is recommended for us to visit the hospitals and see the needy people also visit the needy people help them why because when we go to the hospitals we see how much blessing Allah has given us and that is for example our health 
that many of us, alhamdulillah, we are healthy. We have healthy body, which we take it for granted. Our body, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us, that's a blessing. If, our, if we just think of our body, our face and our head, how much blessings we have only in our head. If we just sit from now until our end of our lives, thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's not enough, that's not sufficient, only for our head. Our heart, our body, all of our body parts. How many, alhamdulillah, we have to say? Endless, countless. We have to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and keep praising and praising and, and being thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for what He has given us. At least 10 times a day, we remember Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, two times in the morning. And Dhuhr and Asr and Maghrib and Asha throughout all of our prayers. Is this sufficient? Not at all. Action plan will be, inshallah, from after this epistle, between after one of our salawat, either morning prayer or Dhuhr prayer or Asr prayer or Maghrib or Asha, the time that we have, if we can take the Sabha rosary, put our head to go to, go to sujood, prostrate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and say five times, ten times, thirteen, thirty-three times, hundred times, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, and remember the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. It is very important to keep thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's all blessings. It's countless. If we want to count the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us, we can't. Quran says you cannot count the amount of blessings that Allah has bestowed upon you. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. All praise goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam says, إِذَا أَحْسَنْتُمْ فَاحْمُدُ اللَّهِ وَإِذَا أَسَأْتُمْ فَاسْتَغْفُرُ اللَّهِ If you did something good, us being help, able to help a needy person, us being able to pray on time, us being able to recite Quran, us being able as a husband to help wife, wife to help husband, parents to help children, children to help parents, everything good that we do, إِذَا أَحْسَنْتُمْ فَاحْمُدُ اللَّهِ It's a, Allah's blessing that we were able to do this good deed that we did. If, we didn't, if He wouldn't create us, if He wouldn't give us health, if He wouldn't give us this ability, if He wouldn't give us this knowledge, we wouldn't be able to help and aid and do something good. وَإِذَا أَسَأْتُمْ And if you did something bad, right away, فَاسْتَغْفُرُ اللَّهِ Ask forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Kana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. Ida warada alayhi amrun yasurruhu. When Rasulullah would something gets to him and some affair would happen, makes him happy. Qala alhamdulillah. Anything. I remember after reading this hadith long time ago, uh, every time that I enjoy good food, a good fruit for example, alhamdulillah being in Iraq, uh, you get to eat a lot of good organic fruits from all different parts of the world, gets to Iraq. When I eat a good pomegranate, figs, you name it, uh, orange, and it's so sweet and so tasty, after reading these narrations and hadith and verses, with every bite, I make sure, remind myself to say, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, that first of all, he created Number two, he's giving me this blessing, this orange. A lot of people, they, can, they don't have access. They, can, they don't have money. They cannot buy orange or pomegranate or figs or they don't have access to these fruits. He made the fruit so tasty. I'm able to taste it. I'm able to eat it. I'm able to digest it. I'm not allergic to it. And many other with one eating, one consuming of this fruit or food and many things. I was in the presence of an ayatollah. Uh, it was so amazing uh, that while we were eating food, before every bite, he would say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. He would take the bite, he would eat, chew it, swallow it. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. And then he took another bite, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. He eats, chews, consumes, he goes in, Alhamdulillah ar Before every bite, he keeps reminding that I, I was able to take intake. We have to sit and think of the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. Before complaining, before arguing, before saying, Allah, why me? And going to people, I don't know why Allah is doing this to me. I have so much problems. I have so much difficulties. Let us be a little bit positive. See how much blessings Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. So if something would make Rasulullah happy, he would say, Alhamdulillah. Ala hadhihi al-ni'mah. Allah, I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this blessing that he has blessed me. 
وإذا ورد عليه أمر يغتم به قال الحمد لله على كل حال and if something would happen to him would would which would sad him sad him he would say الحمد لله على كل حال thanks Allah سبحانه وتعالى in any condition so if something good would happen to him he would say الحمد لله on this blessing that Allah has given me and if something bad would happen to him not bad something that happens to him that made him upset and saddened he would say الحمد لله على كل حال thank to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every condition that I'm in because the condition that I'm in it can be worse it definitely can something can happen that can be worse I'm sick I can get worse I don't have this it can be worse than this any condition that we are in there are always people who are worse in worse situation than us which have to make us always be saying alhamdulillah rabbil alamin I lost my job well, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, inshallah, ala kulli hal, Allah will find me another job. Maybe this job wasn't good for me. Maybe he wants to open another door for me. He wants to give me another opportunity. But by me being in this job, I won't be able to see the other opportunity. So, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, ala kulli hal. There's a small story where an individual was bringing, uh, he would go to the desert and bring uh, wood sticks and he would sell them for people to cook food and stuff. While he's carrying it, he's saying, oh Allah, I see how much I have to go through a lot of difficulties. I don't have any sustenance. I don't have any rizq. Oh Allah, open an opportunity for me. Do something for me. I have to go work this hard to get these sticks and bring it back home. It's so heavy. It had, he had it in a big uh, fabric and he had tied a knot, tied it and he was holding it. Suddenly one of the knots opened and all the sticks fell on the ground. Basically, if it was us, we would complain. Oh Allah, I'm asking you to increase my sustenance. Uh, open the door of your mercy more on me. And you just opened the knots. You forgot to, to which, which door to open. You opened the knots. You didn't open the door of your mercy. Well, he might have complained while he was collecting. And he started digging and then finding some money, some metal. He started digging, digging. He found <coughs> some treasure. He opened it. Well... And he was thankful afterward. Anything that happens to us, any calamities that we face, any difficulties that we face, we have to say Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen because there is something greater is about to happen to us. At the time of difficulties, we should not at all complain. We have to keep saying Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. At least 100 times a day, some remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in sujood and say Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Remember the blessing that he has given you. And then while you are driving to school, driving to work, while you are cooking food, whatever that you're doing, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's very, very important. Where Imam Ali alayhi salam says, Man ja'ala alhamda khitama ni'ma, ja'alahu Allah subhanahu miftaha al-mazid. Anyone, after receiving a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, Alhamdulillah. He thanks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he concludes that ni'mah by saying, Alhamdulillah. Allah will basically give him more. This act of him becomes the key for more. Ja'alahu Allah subhanahu miftahan, miftah al-mazid. This will create more for him. This will get him more. And increase. وَإِن تَأَذَّنَ رَبُّكَ رَبُّكُمْ Chapter 14, verse 7. وَإِذْ تَأَذَّنَ رَبُّكُمْ لَأَنْ شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ وَلَأَنْ كَفَرْتُمْ إِنَّ عَذَابِ لَشَدِيدٌ And when your Lord proclaimed, If you are grateful, I will surely enhance you and increase in blessings. But if you are ungrateful, my punishment is indeed severe. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alam. It's an honor for me to be amongst you. It's an honor that I have to be thankful, ever thankful, to be able to discuss the teachings of Qur'an and Ahl-Bayt It's an honor. We have to be thankful for that. It's a blessing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. So it's very important. Action plan. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen ala kulli hal. Alhamdulillah ala ni'mah. Everything that happens, Alhamdulillah. Good happens, Alhamdulillah. Something upsets us, Alhamdulillah. Everything, everything we should remember to say Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen and we see how it changes our perspective from nagging and arguing and complaining and negativity to 
positivity. That Allah, you know my best. You know what is good for me. This sickness of mine, it was for a good reason. Whatever that is. That I lost my job. I didn't have a good relationship. Whatever that is, this door of opportunity, it keeps closing and closing and closing. Well, maybe he's closing different doors. He's opening in a gate for you. But we keep saying, okay, I need to go to this door. This door that I need. I want to go to this door. Oh Allah, why did you close this door? Just look around. It's a gate that is open for you. That Allah wants you to go through a gate of abundance of blessings from Him. But we want to make sure you go to a small door that we have got used to it. Imam Sadiq alayhi salam, all about remembering to say Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Imam Sadiq alayhi salam says, Ma an amallahu ala abdin. من نعمة فعرفها بقلبه وحمد الله ظاهرا بلسانه فتم كلامه حتى يؤمر له بالمزيد What a beautiful narration. This comes all under the verse Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen and the meaning and the practical action that we need to take from Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Imam says ما أنعم الله على عبد Any blessings that you get you know it by heart that it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything that happens to you, you believe it. You know it by heart, you believe that it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he verbally says, Alhamdulillah, and thanks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. You receive this na'ma, you get these blessings. You say, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Your words finished. Hatta yu'mar lahu bil mazid. Allah will order to give you more. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Ala kulli hal, ala kulli ni'matin. Thanks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He has given us all that He has given us. We are unworthy of it. He didn't have to do this for us. He didn't have to give us what He has given us. But He gave us based on His mercy. And action plan again will be Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen at least 100 times a day at the end of the day we take the tasbih Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen that Allah created me Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen for the health Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen for the wealth Alhamdulillah for every body parts that is operating I'm being able to I'm breathing without me thinking about it my heart is beating without thinking about it imagine if we had to think about our heartbeats a lot of times we, get, we forget by us playing games or by us following the stock market or by us watching football or by us being entertained. We forget about heartbeats. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a mechanism, has placed a mechanism in us that it continues. And a mechanism in the whole universe. We start with our body and we continue saying, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. And inshallah, we will conclude by reciting the most important dua and asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to hasten the appearance of our beloved Imam Ma Mahdi Ajalallah Ta'ala Faraj al Sharif. Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. Allahumma kun de waliya kal hajjat ibn al Hassan. Salawatu ka alayhi wa ala abai. Fi hadha his sa'ata wa fi kulla sa'a. Waliyan wa hafidha wa qa'idan wa nasara wa dadilan wa aina. Hatta to skinna hu ardaka tawa wa tumatahu fiha tawila. Barahmatika ya arhamar rahameen.